What's up, YouTube? Mr. Slime SE here, and today we are going to be diving into part hell of the Poison Necro. So, part normal was a little bit rough. Obviously, daggering around everywhere was a little tough. But once we got into the 30s and we were able to shift over, and honestly, even once we got Poison Explosion with a few levels, it definitely got easier. And then once we hit 30 plus, I would say it definitely improved. Um, a decent amount and we were able to really start doing some damage nightmare was pretty solid bosses do take a little bit of time that is the one like really downfall i would say with all of it but other than that uh the bosses are are pretty good oh let me get rid of this live split really fast so that was uh that was nice so now we're gonna dive into hell good day and we can take a look really fast at our character, our stats. We'll go there. So we're really just some base strength to 47, nothing else. And then everything else into vitality um, is really pretty much what we're just doing here. Nice and easy. Uh, sorry for camera shake. Here is our build. We just have one point down and lower resist and then maxing just from here up, that, that, and that. Um, so that's just what we're going there and then we'll max out poison dagger if you want you can use corpse explosion as well this would be like generally once you've got these three max you can start putting points there you can put more points into like some summons and things like that um, but this is how we are for now and then here is our gear we have a spirit we have a lore helm we have a uh, res mf mana fcr ancients pledge stealth just some random 18 cold res gloves, 28 fire res, 25 fire res, 7 light res, really nice. Um, FCR with some energy and mana. And then some 30 faster run walk boots with 14% cold resist. So this is the um, same llama. what we've got all there. Three. Thank you. And then just some random charms. Haven't really found a lot in the way of charms. Uh, I really wish I had a few more resistances down here. But we've got pretty good res up top, which is really nice. Which means in hell, for the most part, our resistances are positive, which we do love. I have an Eth Partisan right here, which we're looking at, you know, we could do some socketing if we want, make something for a mercenary. Um, we could obviously try and like make obedience eventually, but we'd have to get Cohen Fell. Uh, we could go for honor if we get a soul rune. You know, we already used that soul up there. Um, yeah, so we've got a couple AMs and just some random things. Uh, that we've kind of collected along the way. Most of it's just for money. This is a pretty nice belt. I would be losing resistances, but I'd be going up 75 life, which is solid. Um, one second. And yeah, so we're in hell. I'm only level 53. This is where I definitely have talked about before. Uh, Spending a little more time in Nightmare, leveling up a little bit more. Mayhem, Cali, thank you guys. But, for the most part, you can really just, you know, stick out here. And kill whatever you want to kill. Do whatever you want to do. This is still a really good experience to be had out in this area. Now, the tough parts with this character and the good parts with this character... The good parts with this character are you have a nice AOE damage. <laughs> That's good. You have a nice AOE damage, um, which is which is really helpful. The bad part is you don't have any really great way to uh, keep mobs like contained very well. Your crowd control is a little bit weak. If you were to be using, like, you know, Dim Vision, Confuse, things like that, you could do a little more, but then you're not running lower resist when you're doing that. Um, so, you know, it's kind of half and half there. Um, it's also, your poison just isn't quite as effective in hell uh, when you're kind of running it at this lower stage. But it does okay. Um, it's definitely not, like... The worst thing ever, right? We've already gained half a level right there. Pretty easy. Which is solid. So you definitely want to just think about 
as normal in Diablo 2, think about what kinds of mobs that you are trying to fight, um, because that's going to be very important uh, if you're trying to fight mobs that have high poison resist and such, or just are extremely tanky. A lot of times it can just take forever, and it just ends up being, like, not worth it to do. So, a lot of times I'm just kind of killing a lot of random but decent mobs. And seeing how it goes. Just picking up levels. And this is, again, like we said before, if you'd spent that time leveling in uh, normal, it def or in nightmare, it definitely would give you a little bit of a boost. I'm kind of doing that in hell a little bit. So I'm a bit under leveled right now. But I am getting the levels as I progress, which means it'll just take a little bit longer to do that here. Champion Fallen groups are always really nice experience, so we definitely want to take care of this. Impossible. And you can always use Poison Explosion as well, or Corpse Explosion if you want to get rid of corpses, which is nice. And we're just going to continue with Poison Dagger here. For the most part, it is running around with our Poison Nova. Just making sure we hit everything. Or a majority of things, at least. And you can see, I mean, how much experience is being gained just by doing this right here, you know. Really a lot of EXP. So we're, we're getting like a level and a half already here. So this is really nice. Yeah, this experience bar is flying. But like I said, this is in place of running Eldritch over and over again, you know? We're, we're doing it here. So it's just a little bit different. And we'll just kind of finish off a few of these guys. Nothing crazy. You don't have to kill every single monster, every single boss all the time. We got most of the stuff done. So we will just move forward and continue with Vitality as well. The other weak part, again, about this character, as we kind of discussed before. So here, for instance, is, yes, I can uh, lower resist these guys, but my poison damage is like nothing to them. Just not even worth it. Um, but the other tough part is you don't really have great CC on them here, and you're also kind of weak. So the combination of that can be pretty, pretty brutal. So when we get to areas that have lots of poison immunes and such, we just can't move forward. Keep it simple, right? Yes, you only get experience the first time you kill a monster, which is why just like infinite resurrected fallens don't don't really do anything. It's not worth spending all that time. Same question hundred times a day. I mean, I think it's a fair question. First off, I'm a streamer and that's what streamers do. They just answer the same question over and over again. Those NPC streams, while pretty ridiculously silly, they are pretty uh, accurate in how often we actually just sit there and answer the same questions and do the same things. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh! That was close. What is your favorite dinosaur? <laughs> uh. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, like a pterodactyl. It's pretty cool. I can't. So I'm actually gonna also run two rows of rejuves, I think. Because I don't really need the mana nearly as much. But rejuves are always quite needed and helpful. If people actually follow you, they'd know you're thoughts on D4? It's fine. People don't always actually follow. They, you know, sometimes they pop in and they're just curious. So, I, I, I really don't mind. 
possible. If it's a lot, a lot of times I just refer them over. I say, just check out, you know, a video. Because I do have a lot of videos where I talk about D4, exclamation mark, season skip. That's a pretty decent one to cover it. Perfect. And we'll go here and get out of the underground passage because it's just a little bit tight in there. Don't really want to uh, do too much there. But yeah, so we welcome in the people new and asking questions. So yeah, ultimately for me, D4 was lackluster. I was talking to a friend today, and that was the word he used, and I was like, that's that's probably the best word. Impossible. Just a little bit lackluster. You watch the dabs of PoE2 slash PoE talk about PoE2, and again, even if it's not impossible, Everything, every change you want, all of that. There's definitely a different passion there. But I think D4 has gone through a lot of iterations with a lot of different people and such, and that has also been something that has affected it, right? Hate that there's little incentive with no trade. Yeah, I mean, again, a lot of these quote-unquote issues, I feel like we're... I don't want to say obvious, but I mean, these were things a year ago that I was talking about. People are, the lack of trade there is really going to get, like, it's not going to feel good. Maybe people still support it. I don't know. But a lot of people now are, like, changing their tune. They're like, well, well this lack of trade makes all these account pound items and everything that I'm finding feel less important. It's like, yeah, that's what it does. So to me, that's the that's the like big thing. Like, just be a game. That's always always what I feel like I say. Just it needs to just be a game first. That's just a fun game. Don't worry about optimizing everything to be the most efficient stuff. Don't worry about like all these pieces if the game is fun and good enough people will go in they'll optimize in their own ways they'll do all these things on their own but like just just make the game fun first off make it something that you want to play you know people are like excited to play hockey stream when i think i might play hockey tonight but i don't think it'll be streamed because moo girls gotta watch the baby so unless we like get my mom or something to stream it. Long RPG when exclamation mark RPG Discord. Um, hopefully soon. Anyway, sorry. Back to the necro really fast. Uh, you you can do the tower actually, which is a nice thing about this is poison damage. Actually has. Some viability in there, um, not not completely everywhere with it, but it's not horrible. So you can run some towers and stuff if you want to get some bigger runes. You'll drop, you know, really reasonably up to like an ist rune uh, doing tower, but that's you know after a while. But going for stuff like, hey, I really want to get like that lum rune so I can make a smoke, right? You can you can go after that. You can go after, um, you know, maybe trying to get like a pole or an um or something. Pole runes aren't really gonna do too much for for this character, but if you want it, you can try and get foul or lem, get your treachery. Plus, of course, there's just experience to be had in here. Do be careful about like multi enchants and such. It's always dangerous. Here we have a fire enchant, cold enchant. So I really don't want to be in that explosion. Go up there. 
but like I say, two um for plus two necro skills. Don't make bone. Just please don't. D web can drop. It's a TC87 drop, so it's something that we wouldn't be getting until later, really. But that would be like Chaos Sanctuary or something that you'd be finding it. I'm not sure we'll really find it earlier. River of Flame might be able to technically drop it. Um, you know, kind of like there, but not really much earlier. So we're not really going to focus on Ghost. I'll probably also stick away from Archers when I'm down here. Speaking of the Devils. Just because they do tons of damage. But I do love killing Fallen. Goatmen aren't too bad. You know, you can you can kill a couple different types of mobs while you're in here. And we'll pick this up. Another level up, which is great. Again, decent experience for sure down here. And then we can go and kill Countess. Kill all our minions. Oh, they're just like not even leashing. They're just completely coming after me. That's wild. I didn't even go to town though. Hm. Normally they're gonna stick on a leash. These ones decided not to. So we'll take the experience though. Say thank you. Ethrune. And I just don't want to lure the archers in here, really, so I'm going to try and stick on this right side if I can. And then just nice and simple. Poison her down and see what she gets. So, again. If you would like, you can uh, run her when when you want. But this is not something I would generally recommend. It's okay. Um, you know, running her is not bad. Iron's actually not terrible. I O doll, I O doll, right? So you could, of course, now we have Dole Io. So if you wanted, especially if you're, you know, playing without spirit, whatever reason, we could make a white wand. Look for a nice white wand to put that in. Yeah, gives you some potential. Derek. Summon resist. And we'll just go like this. You're late, but you made it. There you are, finally. We were waiting forever for you. We had to eventually just start. You just weren't here. We're already up to level 58. Just having moved through the Impossible. early, like, first few parts of Act 1. So, you know, I feel like that's nice and encouraging. Right? Really shows that, yeah, you can, like, just get your levels here. Act 1 early and Act 2, I think, are my, like, favorite places to level. Um whenever I'm leveling up a character and I'm kind of like getting to hell but I'm a little under leveled just because you get these really open fields a lot of the mobs aren't like crazy hard they don't have crazy high like HP all the time um, you're not always like I said you get the open areas so there are some like difficult parts but really just like cold plains you can get some decent stuff um, out here you can get some decent stuff, dark wood, there's no like lightning immune, so if you have lightning character that can be decent. And then, as I said before, they are uh, the big beauty part of your build is that you're an AoE build. Why is that? Because, you know, obviously it's a huge AoE. So, what should you do to maximize this? You should gather mobs up as best as you can and then kill them in a giant AoE. 
This is your bread and butter right here. Look at how much experience we're gaining from this one giant pack of mobs that we've gathered. That is how it goes. That is how you should play this build, right there. Gather and circle. Gather and circle and rinse and repeat. And you can uh, kill a lot of good stuff, get a lot of experience that way. We'll go ahead and kill this boss group as well. And that should be another level. Here's an experience shrine for us. Wish I had that when I was killing the other group. I was hoping to find one, but we didn't quite get to it. I can't. So, easy enough. Level 60. Look at that. If I want, we can just teleport all the way now through to the end of the game. Because obviously you just need 60 Francians. Wait, I thought this was a full playthrough with only poison explosion. Where, where, where would you get that idea? Extra fast is going to be a little bit annoying. And of course, uh, especially when we get into these tighter corridors here. So definitely want to be careful. Full poison dagger playthrough or we riot. Full poison dagger playthrough. It's wild. But we'll still take the kill. Beautiful. Ah, the slow torture of caged stars. Real men use poison dagger. Wow. The toxic masculinity in chat. You were raised better than that, chat. I can't. You were raised better. Join my army of the dead. At Mr. Llama SC Frost Zealot soon. Oh yeah, Smiley you guys have been face. wanting that, haven't you? Maybe it's just you who's been wanting it, and you just keep repeating it over and over again. Impossible. Sometimes it's hard to tell. This is tough. I would love to... Oh my gosh. I would love to fight all of these. There's three good boss groups here of Devilkins. But there's so many archers around as well, so we're just going to have to do a little dancing. But with an experience shrine, it feels like I gotta, I gotta kill these guys. I just gotta do it. It's too good not to. Also, as with most uh, similar builds like this that are skill based, Skill point based. Um, plus skills is is you know your best, right? Everything, every plus skill you can get is just more and more damage, which is really helpful. And it's also giving us an additional skill point. Um, so we get the skill point for poison, but we're also going to get the skill point for this might be dangerous. Um, low resist. So in both of those ways, it's really nice and helpful. That is just hot. But there are like other builds where it's even better, right? And especially if you're starting to run things like summons and you are running like corpse explosion and things like that, um, it can be even better. So, you know, we can swap this over to just corpse explosion now if we want. And we have a small radius, only 3.6 yards, but if we get a few more plus skills, now we're getting even more. So, that's, you know, really helpful. We have teleport through a teleport uh, staff that we shopped. Teleport is very helpful and very important, especially on a character like this. Now, why is it even more important, important on a character like this? Because like we talked about before, this character doesn't have great um, crowd control. He does, but he doesn't, because we're not running Confuse and all of these different spells to try and do all of this stuff. So, what does this end up meaning? Well, of course, it means we're going to get caught 
in tough areas sometimes where we're kind of surrounded, we're kind of trapped. And we have no good way of really just stopping them in their tracks. When I'm a much higher level and I can have summons and all sort of that stuff, sure, it's better. But when we're leveling up and doing a playthrough, it's not nearly that great. So, having that teleport staff to be able to TP out and get away is uh, really important in my opinion. It's definitely something that will improve your playability by a lot. And we'll go ahead and kill at least this boss. Wraiths, again, are not, like, fantastic. There we go. I'm going to use Corpse Explosion on them. Because poison damage doesn't do a lot there. Can't put it all together. And we got pretty heavily poisoned, so we'll leave there. So having Corpse Explosion is really nice. Corpse Explosion does a ton of damage. Um, I'm not going to, again, just make this purely a Corpse Explosion build by any means. But it is something where now at this point that we're in hell, uh, adding in a little bit of other damage types, which is that is physical and fire damage, being able to add that in on top of poison and having the lower resist, which is going to lower their fire resist, which makes it even easier for us to do more fire damage, is really helpful. And so especially for that group of like wraiths right there, who are all stacked on top of each other, that can be a really nice way to just have a little bit of extra added damage done. So... That hurt. That is that is a pretty nasty boss, cold enchanted and cursed and everything, so we're going to maybe try and Scooch away, or just get away, get around. Is no audio August Ooh. still a thing? Resubbing just in case. That never has been a thing, so don't say still a thing. Yeah, that's just some nasty mobs. Never be afraid to just say, these mobs are too nasty, I'm gonna go. Always a valid uh, reason to just not fight stuff. These guys are just too hard. These guys just do too much damage. Whatever it is. Was Poison Necro buffed in D2R? I don't believe they gave Poison Necro any buffs. I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't think so. Speedrun strats. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not just speedrun strats, but in my opinion, it's also like good game design strats. <laughs> like, creating a game where some stuff is just insanely hard. There can just be really tough rolls on things, and it makes the player need to make a decision. Do I want to keep trying to fight this, or is this just going to be too brutal? I like that. I think that's good. Poison is not stacking, no. It's locked. But it wears off very quickly. Um, so it's not like it's a really long duration. So that's why I'm, you know, generally spamming it out. Because additionally, there may be one mob that it just, you know, hit later on or was missed. And so a lot of times I'm just trying to, yeah, you know, make sure I'm getting all the mobs in. All right, so we want to make sure we're on players one before we go to catacombs level four. And then we can fight Endariel. Now, the best way to fight Endariel is with Corpse Explosion because poison damage especially is going to be pretty slow on her. 
but she's got really bad fire resist. So whenever she is near some mobs that we can pop, that is going to be really our, uh, our, our best source of damage on her. Just gotta be careful. And this is also we're having a slightly larger radius for corpse explosion can really help a lot. And there you go. That will take her down much faster. Nice and easy. Or grab some of this. Pick up the jewel and give yourselves the clap. Act one of hell is done. And not only that, but you got a lot of levels there as well. Hello. We are 62. We started at 53. We're almost 63. Almost 10 levels in act one. And we were flying through that. So this is definitely a character that you feel it. Um, this is, I, I used to love this armor growing up. This is like my favorite armor. Just because it had big defense, and I thought defense was everything. But, yeah, it's uh, this is a build where you definitely feel yourself gaining that power as you're moving through. So we'll continue out here. And now we've got this leaping boss group, which isn't my favorite boss group, but pretty, pretty fast damage. Pretty good kill. Pretty good kill speed right there, which is really nice. Not yet. We'll do that. Would a mercenary be beneficial? He'd probably just die too much, unfortunately. Again, without having good crowd control, he's probably just gonna die. I also don't have the gear to keep him alive. If you've definitely played it a little slower through and gotten gear a little bit more and done all that, um, I've done no maps before, no map runs. Then it's not as it's not as bad there. You're, you're gonna be all right, but yum yum yum. Eat that damage up. We don't have lem rune here. We got what like a hell rune from our nightmare forge or something. It was bad. Can I zoom in a bit? Coming from the D4, this looks weird. Sorry, yeah, for the D4 players, let me, there you go. Does this make you feel more at home? Impossible. Just wanted to make sure. I know, it's like, what, are we fighting a world boss or something? What's with this camera? I can't carry anymore. It's pretty funny how bad it is, actually. I didn't even realize how bad the camera zoom was until Act Man literally put them side by side. And I was like, oh my god. It's <laughs> so bad. It's hilarious. Alright, Maggot Lair, everybody's favorite. Yeah. I mean, all I know is I sat there and I talked about 
Without, I mean, I knew the camera was too zoomed in. But again, I didn't realize how zoomed in. But I sat there and I talked about it. I was like, every build in the game is a melee build. I was like, why is every build a melee build in Diablo 4? Or feels like you have to be close range melee. And then I saw that camera and I was like, that's it! I mean, also they build things like only Frost Nova makes things vulnerable and stuff, but... Overall, it's like, yeah, everything is that zoomed. You have to be melee. Alright. Not really gonna fight these raptors again. We've talked about that. We'll go home. Got a waypoint. We're happy. Hello. You can't ha handle the potion system? See, I'm actually the opposite way. I didn't think the potion system in D2 was great. I don't think it's like the best part of the game or anything close. I can't. But after playing the builder generator system in D4, I was like, oh my god, please let me just have potions again. <laughs> it made me appreciate potions so much more, being able to be like, I need mana. Oh, I'll just drink a mana potion. Cool. <laughs> I was like, I love it. Yeah, TP staff, uh, and I still don't think the potion system in D Diablo 2 is amazing by any means, but God, I love it so much more than having to use basic resource or being level 100 and running out of mana and having to sit there stupidly waiting for it to regen and stuff. Using basic skills. Yeah, boring skill, boring skill, boring skill, skill I want to use! Boring skill, boring skill, boring skill, skill that's also cool! Boring skill, boring skill, boring skill, oh, everything's on cooldown! Wait, 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 skill I want to use! <laughs> Killed me, man, I was like, I can't. I can't, I'm dying. Yeah, I actually think PoE's flask system is one of the better... ...systems overall, but... I also think uh, it went too far and turned into too much of, you know, playing the piano with it. I really liked when it was a much simpler system and it was just basically like your potions. Maybe it was like, if you are frozen then it takes freeze off or whatever. I liked it in, at that state, but when it was like adding armor and, or fortifying or whatever stuff along the way and where you just had to press it every couple seconds. That's where I was like, eh, you're losing me on the system. Then you love PoE 2. Probably, yeah. I mean, PoE 2, I think, definitely uh, plays into my idea more of what I really love about games, which is that slowed down piece, you know. I can't. So. Again, like you can see here, the damage from this build is really picking up, really doing well. Honestly, I was probably on even a slightly higher player count, maybe like players 3 or something in Act 1. I definitely wasn't on players 8, but I think I was on a slightly higher player count, which is why it was taking even longer. But yeah, you can really just see so much damage now being done. I can't carry it. Which is great, because again, if you're someone, this is a build, I think, if you are someone who really wants to like run around and kill everything, or kill a majority of things at the very least, I think this is the, the build for you. Straight up. This one is just so good. There's so few things that really are resisting everything. You get a giant AoE, and you can really just play through the game, kill most of the monsters, 
and get decent experience, you know. Is as dark as a and it moves at a good enough speed, I think, which is the other issue that for, you know, some of the other builds, they're not always going to move at that right speed. Like, yeah, you can kill everything, but it'll take a long time. Here it's like, yeah, the stuff that you're probably not killing, again, are going to be like things that were already poison immune. And that's where you can even use a little bit of corpse explosion if you want. Lower resist everything and then we'll just uh, go ham. Thank you. Nice and easy. I am overburdened. Actually, I'm okay. It's perfect. Okay, Steven, how you doing? Okay, get some gold, because why not? And we'll just need to repair before we head into Hello. the Arcane Sanctuary. Where again, if you want to kill stuff, you can. viable against bosses that's the one place even later it's not the most viable at mr llama sc could you provide your thoughts on the moral dilemma of changing your system clock to manipulate terror zones in single player yeah it's cheating i mean look single player you can do what you want you can hero edit stuff you can you know you can run seated things you can you can do whatever you want so everybody has their own moral line with it Yo, Lama um, you should check out Remnant 2, it's awesome. Souls like Looter Shooter even has a summon necro build. I started it last night, it's wild stuff. Remnant 2. I don't know that one. Ultimately, though, I'd say, yeah, if you're just manipulating it to be what you want, probably a little bit cheating. But hey, maybe you don't play very often and you're like, I really just want to run Terra's own Andy because I think it'd be super fun. You know, like. It's single player. You do what, whatever you want to do. You set your own rules. I would consider it cheating in my court for myself if I were to do it. But I also have the privilege of playing this game all day, every day. So, you know. This is fantastic. I wish I had time to study this bizarre. Do what dimension. you want. The wraiths would be a little bit annoying to kill. Goats we could definitely kill if we want, but it's a little tight in here. So, we're just going to run and teleport through. Good day. You've been having Stormlash for six months and it's just not happening? Stormlash is a rough one for sure. I think I found a couple Stormlash when I was doing Diablo farming for 99. When I killed like 5,000 Diablos or whatever. He definitely dropped me a couple, but. This is fantastic. I wish I had time to study this bizarre dimension. Ooh, nice kid. Yeah, Stormlash is just, it's, it's so cool. It's a really nice, uh, really nice item. I can't. Second way? No, not second way. Again, this is an area where you can kill everything if you want. I can't. But I think it's just worth teleporting through. There's better areas. Bigger, wider areas are just better for this character overall. Plain and simple. Best F item I have ever found. Mm, I found a couple F death cleavers. Um, I've also found F D web, which just for rarity purposes. Oh my god. Um, 
And I found a lot of like really rare and interesting rare or eth items. Key? Nope. Eth titans. Yeah, I found many eth titans as well. That one's more common. Okay. We are now maxed on all of our poison. So our poison damage is where it will be. And experience is here. Hello, experience. Gotta be a little bit careful, but. A lot of juice right here for us. Love to see it. Let's go pick up the regions. Full reju, full reju, full reju. Perfect. Corpse explosion too strong. Corpse explosion very strong. Uh oh, extra fast. We're gonna use corpse explosion on the very fast guys. Beautiful. I mean, the poison into the corpse explosion is so good. Um, but yeah, somebody had asked about, like, does this build have really good boss killing? And like I said, that is its weakest point for sure. Um, it just it just doesn't kill very quickly on your bosses. So you can kill these sorts of things. You can kill all sorts of groups everywhere. But your bosses are just going to take a while. Plain and simple. Impossible. Mm, yeah, I thought that was actually good. Okay. Just looking what we can find here. Six TPs left. Always be aware of how many you have left. Ooh. A little spicy right there. Cold enchanted. No, thank you. Full rejuve. Yes, thank you. Dang it. <laughs> Hate it when that happens. You just you just freak out. It just like it's just scary, you know. No, the staff will be on my body. I was just trying to do that to show people that you can still have your staff. You still get it. Ooh, the Might Aura. Don't like that. Don't like that. Oh, and the cold. Oh, it's so bad. Ooh. Go, baby, go! Okay. Possible. Whew. Beautiful. So now comes Mr. Duriel, where again we run into the problem of uh, we just don't do a ton of damage to bosses, but we can do okay. We can drink our Thaywing potions right here. We can stock up on potions here as well. I do have Amtir. So again, I do have a strength I could make for a mercenary. He'd die still probably decently fast, but it would be something. But we can, we 
can just try and run around and not not die to Duriel. So, is it the worst Duriel fight I've ever had? Not by a long shot. Is it a slow Duriel fight still? And it just gets a little bit slower with Bale and Diablo and all of that. Which again is where you can grab, um, you know, a mercenary, right? Maybe even grabbing an Act 3 mercenary isn't a horrible idea. I could do that going forward for the other bosses. And just have them give a couple statics, right? If he'll static two, three, four times, it'll be great. Go Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden doesn't really do nearly as well. In normal, it's fantastic. Nightmare kind of starts falling off. Hell, it falls off pretty, pretty hard. You're, you're really not going to reflect nearly as much. Now, if we ran Edge Bow with a Clay Golem, that would actually go really well and kill the bosses really fast. So that would actually be a really good combination because the bosses would just kill themselves super fast on my golems. But that's maybe a little too cheesy and a little too far away from this build. You know. Impossible. But tier tal am I believe is all you need there, so it's not even too expensive. Get a three open socket bow and you're good to go. And there you go. Nice and easy. Metallic Joe, thank you very much. Kisses to you. Thank you for the Prime sub and reminding everybody in chat they may have a Prime sub available. If you're not using it somewhere, you're giving it to Daddy Bezos. And I mean, let's be honest, he doesn't need it. Ooh, nice. 23 cold res. Uh, so we can look at our FCR right now. We have 78. So that actually is nice. 45 on the swap. Now, I obviously don't need a ton of FCR, but it is helpful to have some. So I'm going to go ahead and hold this. And we'll toss out Tauren. I guess I also have Tauren. We can just get rid of that. Wow! Premonacta, Painterbore, and Monarch Whoa. Opera. And hey guys, everybody had a prime sub available. That's why you gotta check. It's like, oh snap, I got it, I forgot. Greetings. Appreciate you guys. And just like that, give yourselves a clap. We are moving into act numero trace. Good. And we are level 64, closing in on 65. Act 3 is going to be a little harder. We're going to have more poison immunes. Thank you, set rail. And there's plenty of mobs that just fly at us really quickly. Um, this would be a place where potentially having, you know, just a, a summon could be really helpful. Just to kind of keep you safe in some ways. So there's some poison immunes right there. Sometimes you may just reset a map if you just get a terrible like spawn extra fast suckers that are just flying after you and you can't escape them No shame in just resetting impossible saying nah, I'm out fam impossible. Impossible. Wait till you get not Poison immunes so we could try and kill some of these other things if there's nobody else around no suckers chasing us. I don't mind going for a kill on some groups here. But generally I'm not seeking out trying to do tons of killing here. In the flare jungle, we, we may just do some more killing overall because flare jungle is a really nice experience. Okay, Arachnid Lair will take the waypoint. 
Can you get those muni charms in Nightmare? No. Only in heck terror zones, so on a first run you're never getting a, a Sunder Charm. You have to get through and kill Hell Bale before you can get one. Will there be new runners and content for future seasons, or are they killing this game for D4? Um, probably both. Which I know that's not technically a both answer, but I imagine eventually there will be new content for this game. I also believe that there's not going to be a ton of new content immediately for this game because they are going to want to continue to push towards Diablo 4. See if this continues this way. It does. It probably just does like that, but we should at least check it. So that's my prediction and guess. I got stamina potions specifically for the suckers as well. Oh wow, it just it's gonna dead end. It's just entering there only. Okay. Favorite hero in Dota 2? Ah, oh, you, you know I'm a Meepo man. Okay, so we have the waypoint, or I mean the flare jungle over there, so that's really nice. So we'll go ahead and head up here and do the spider cavern and then come back. I just love uh, microing five little dudes all around. The only new content the game needs is a nerf to Mosaic Assassin. I mean, look, Mosaic Assassin does need a nerf, I'm not gonna lie. Spider Cavern is also a pretty nasty area, so that's not one I want to spend too much time in. You can see I'm super poisoned as well. So we probably need to just head home before we die. Mosaic is a bit overpowered, yeah. Grab that and continue over. All right, so now we have Flare Jungle. I can't. We do have birds, which are not as good of experience, so we can reset it if we want. But this can definitely be a really nice place to get experience. So let's see if we get waypoint. We do. All right, let's try. Let's try for it. See if we can get a really good uh, area. And we'll go ahead and repair as well. Get our charges. So yeah, that. Still birds, which is annoying. Just hoping we got more little dudes running all around. So we just had a bunch of soul killers. This would actually be a fantastic place to go level. It still is a fantastic place to level, but you can really have a lot of fun with just like a hundred soul killers chasing you. And then you just do this a couple times, like we've talked about before. A worthless it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Avoid the poison immunes, nobody cares about those. I can't. Kill everything else. So yeah, running without the birds is, is really nice Impossible. for experience and highly recommended. Impossible. Should see a level up hopefully soon. Yeah, we'll use that. Uh huh. You need to be careful. I don't have the most 
fire resist here. And there we go. Another level up. And now we're at our max level of poison damage, right? Like we talked about before. That was the previous one. So here's where you actually get it all to open up. And you get to make that decision. What is the next thing I want to really invest in? Where do I want to go? Do I want to start, um, you know, running into summons? Do I want to just be increasing my corpse explosion? I could put a few more points into lower resist. Later on, it really is a one point wonder, but for now, that could be a little bit more damage. So you can take a look at that. I can't carry anymore. And it's really one of those things you just gotta kinda look at, you know? So let's let's do this. Kill this guy and let's see. So right now it's minus 44. That'll be minus 47% with another point. Another additional minus 3% seems like a win for me. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes to the dress on that one. More corpse explosion points is also a pretty good go-to because again, that radius, it's... One of the best, if not the best, skill in the game. I mean, teleport does exist and stuff, but man, it's a uh, it's a good skill. So the more that we can get that lower resist up, and again, when we're later on, and we've got all these plus to skills. It's a one point wonder. But right now, maybe putting two, three points in it as they come isn't a bad idea that'll just help out with everything I can't okay we can check in here see what they got going level 65 by the way and like I was saying as well before something I really like about this build is this is me doing a guided playthrough where often on guided playthroughs you see me flying through and when I get to hell I'm not really killing as much stuff I'm staying a little bit under leveled and you know just kind of going to the bosses and everything and we could do that here but this character just kills things pretty well so he kind of allows you allows me to really spend that time He's kind of killing things. Which is really nice. And I think uh, it speaks to the strength of the build for sure. I mean, you're not getting more damage out of um, out of it, so it is. They, I may agree with them. Corpse explosion at players eight is more mediocre for sure, and the main reason is you're not ever scaling its damage or anything. All you're scaling is the range, and at level one, oh, blows it all up. Or, I mean, players 8, whatever, blows, players 1 blows it all up. But players 8, it really starts to kind of fall off some. 14 life, 14 mana. Very nice. Love little charms like that. Okay, we still have good TP charges. Let us go to the Flare Dungeon. Let's continue. go, Mr. Llama. Tato plays an Ubru Heats. Is that Uber Boo. Eats in a interesting way? Impossible. Moo. The damage is based on the enemy's health? Yes, but it's based on their player's one health, I believe. If that's not correct, well, it's definitely based off a lower number. And or just when they scale up, it doesn't do as much, whatever, but. Lower resist will, oops, 
This one was in, in the middle. We'll remove immunities sometimes. It depends what the initial immunity or resistance of the monster was prior. Hello. Should actually look that up. Uh, Corpse Explosion is capped by the player one monster health. No matter how many players in the game, there's no way you can stack more CE damage. Yeah. That's right. So that's where it still is like fine, but it does fall off some. All right, everybody, we're at our favorite spot in the game. It is Lower Kurost, where you can go slash players eight. And then run your super chest and see if you get that burr rune. Or the jaw, no, you don't get jaw here. Sir rune, vex, ohm low, whatever. Additionally, as we've talked about before, you can just pop all and every one of these things. You can find things like Threshers and such, which can be nice bases for, uh, you know, for a mercenary, for items that you want to use. Impossible. Whatever it is. This is, like, really scary to fight, but we're doing okay damage. And it'll be worth a lot of experience if we don't just die. Oh, we're cursed now as well? That's not my favorite. Give me that experience, baby! Let's see what we got. So, crazy enough, again, still, we are able to deal damage to stuff on players 8 here, which is wild. Ouch. However, of course, they still do lots of damage to us. But look at that experience bar go. Every mob is worth so much. Ooh, what rune is that? Rao rune. We'll take it. Another level up. And that is 2% more all res reduction. Which again helps both our corpse explosion and our poison here. Oh, rune! <laughs> Let's go, baby. That's what we're looking for. Easy. And there you go. That's how you get an ohm rune. How easy is that? Now, if you're ever wondering, what do I do with these runes? What I like to just do is just type in like, Ohm rune, Diablo 2. And then you can literally just go down here and look at the various uh, things that you can make. So, Bramble, amazing. I would love Bramble. Bramble would be fantastic because we get 25 to 50% poison skill damage, which would buff this character like crazy. But we also need a servant, unfortunately. You also get this Thorn Zoro, which is, you know, great. But that would be huge. Uh, call to Arms, Amrau Malice Dome, everybody knows CTA. This is your uh, offhand battle orders, right? So we would need Mal and Iss in a five open socket. 
Chaos, Foul Ohm Um, not really for us. Uh, Doom, Hell Ohm Um, Low Cham, that's a lot of requirements. Exile requires a Vex and an Ist, again, not for us. Faith needs a Jaw, Famine needs Jaw. So, really, nothing to be done with a single Ohm. Our best case would be go for CTA. We could keep farming in the LK. We could be going to the tower, try and start farming there. We can see, of course, if we get Malorist from our Hellforge, um, and that could put us in a decent spot there, right? But Ohm Rune to start, not bad. Plus, of course, like I said, good experience. And this is the beauty of the Lower Kuras, man. I don't know what it is, but everything in the lower Kuras just seems to be more high runes everywhere you go. That's it. It's just it's just high runes from the monsters from and that's not actually it, you know how it works, but that's how it feels like it works. So you can always just run around and pop all the corpses, all the chest, all the bodies, all the logs, stashes, skeletons, yada yada yada. There's just a lot of stuff that you can pop. Llama are gonna get the sir. You got it on the barb the other day, and I got I it like two days ago on my pally. Yeah, I was doing sir LK running baby. on the barb, and we got the sir rune. It dropped from enemy. Let's see what that is. Eh, eight hit recovery is nice, but I've got so much hit recovery already. I feel pretty fine on it. We'll go ahead and get rid of Death's Gloves. And we'll put a couple more of these guys over there. And so, like I said, you can rinse and repeat the lower cross as many times as you would like. Your main thing that you're looking for is those super chests if you want to get the big stuff. Uh, if you don't care as much about that, I can't. then you can just go around and pop everything. But these are going to be your main clickers. Right there. It's locked. Right there. I can't. And right here. Dangerous. Keep running LK until you can make last wish. <laughs> yeah, that'll not take a while. Get keys, yeah. And we also only have one fire map here, which those are the super chests from there before. Um, so, you know, Impossible. that's that's fine. I'm gonna go back down to players one. We're just gonna move on through. I can't. But, you know, since this is a guided playthrough, we're not gonna sit here and farm a Sir Rune for like eight hours or whatever. Is it eight hours? Uh, you probably get a Sarun every... Yeah, if you have two chests and they're close and you're farming at a decent speed. So for us, it'd probably be a little bit longer. 10 hours, maybe. That is the guide right there. All right, so let us continue. See what's over here. Uh, okay, lots of poison immune down here. We're not really gonna fight dolls and suckers and zombies. It's not a good area for us. So this will be one that we really just teleport through. Try and get to the end. I can't. Impossible. Call it good. Hmm. I do love poison necros, man. I forgot how good the poison necro was on a regular playthrough as well. Like I knew he was good, but I forgot how good he still is able to perform. some damage that's another example of when you just get trapped suckers love to just trap you in 
Impossible. It's locked. We'll go players eight, pop over here and here, because you can get some nice things. Super chest! Not everybody knows there are those super chests there. Key on the ground for the lock chest. Eh, that's fine. One to 14 lightning damage. That does us no good. We'll put our heart. And I guess we'll uh, do this. Let's head to the Travancore. And kill a couple guys on the way. Hold enchanted. Beauty. Uh, it's a plus 12 belt. But it's just really nice. It's, you know, 32 resist. I do have a 75 life demon hide sash. But I'm liking my resist. Oh, Travancore will be easy for us. We'll, we'll mow them down pretty fast. Why don't people farm the level 2 super chest like they do the LK? I don't know. LK probably because you get the 6 of them there. So you just get more. Um, but yeah, I don't know exactly. Wait, I did not want to do that. Uh, I don't know, Rag. I don't know. Ooh, that's nasty. Yeah, we should murder the Travancore pretty well, actually. Biggest thing is definitely just, like, keep them away. So they're not all just healing each other constantly. Do that, and you're good to go. That'd be quite nice, Rick. So we'll take him out. Grab the flail, but again, we can even go in and really just gather up a lot of it. Should be able to kill a good amount of it together. pretty good killer, man. It's a pretty good killer here. Gotta be careful. Like I said, them healing each other is gonna be the nastiest part of it all. On top of 50 Hydras, but... Nice and easy. Why not mercenary? Ah, oh, he'd just die pretty easily. Unfortunately. Plus, are we really needing him? Doesn't feel like it. Like I said, the only place we'd probably really consider needing a mercenary is on bosses. Travanko will wreck even a, a fully geared merce as well. Okay. If you do want to farm, of course you can farm your bosses. I would say Indaril is a better farm for this character. Uh, just because you can corpse explosion stuff around her and so you'll be able to kill her a lot faster. But if you want, you can always get this waypoint as well. Or you can just go right to the end. 
and go to level three. Up to you. Can always kill the council members there as well. Hello. And we will come back, heal, get a few potions. And this is where, like I was saying, you can try and play with the mercenary very quickly. So I'm gonna go after Geshef. Get a light mercenary since he has static abilities. I have lower resist as well. And we'll see if he can stay alive for a static or two. Come on, buddy. You got this. More statics. Not bad. Oof. I ran right into that one. That was my own fault. So a big thing is you definitely don't want to go too far where you're close to uh Jeez man, chill. Close to any of the trav members because they will heal him. Man, he is being nasty right now. Too bad. And I don't believe you can cheese them. I think we already looked at that. So. Seven life. Not even close. So it is, you know, it is a tough fight. If you have a golem and stuff, you can definitely use that to help yourself out a little bit. Journey, Mephisto. There you go. Give my regards to the abyss. And I'll go ahead and turn in the uh, thing. Yeah, spirits just got so much other benefit to it. It's really nice. Yes. Love ourselves a little corpse more in action. Chance for Iron Maiden when struck. Beautiful. White is nice, but spirit is really bringing us more overall. What can I do for you? Put away a little gold and continue. Oh, wait, oops. Continue to act numero. Four. Oof. Greetings. Got ourselves a little blast bark. What about the soul stone? Oh no, I forgot to pick up the soul stone. Whatever will I do? Well, you just talk to Kane. And he gives you another soul stone. Now, we're in Act 4 Hell, and it's actually a little bit nicer, I feel like, than Nightmare, because in Nightmare, they're poison immune. But in Hell, the Venom Lords have high poison res, but they're going to be fire immune. So it's a little bit nicer, actually. You can still run around and kill them. It takes a little bit longer. But... Kind of up to you if you want to or not. Okay, experience. Should be able to see another level here. There we go. 
Another full rejuve at least. Kill as much or as little as you want, right? Always the thing. This is another minus two all res. I'm just gonna keep going there while we get it. In the future, I'm sure I will, uh, you know, spec out of that. And again, shift more into more corpse explosion and summons and whatever. But for here, we're gonna stick like this. Now, let's say you run into a plane to despair and it's got souls and you're like, you know, I just hate souls. Especially when there's Conviction Aura right next to it. That's just a terrible, terrible thing. Well, what do you do? You just reset. That's it. Just reset your map. You'll get a new spawn of mobs. Maybe you'll get souls. Maybe you won't. But you don't have to sit there and just fight these horrible souls all the time. Yeah, the Gloams are pretty bad. They are quite nasty. They will die fast to your poison, which is nice there. But, that means you have to, you know, still deal with the... Still deal with them along the way, which can just feel awful. So... Make that choice if you uh, want or not. Yeah, those clones will murder a lot of people. And I had bad light res as well, so... I was, you know, very close to death. <laughs> Any Anytime they were shooting. Okay. Another area that can have some tight spots in it, so I'll clear some things out as I go. There's also some poison immunes. Just looking for the city of the darn. I am level 67. So again, moving along really nicely. It's actually super nice to, to see. up here. A little lower resist action. Not my favorite since I don't have good resistances already. Or I mean conviction I should say. so well. I'm just continuous, continuously amazed by how well this character feels, like how good he feels. Impossible. And how well he plays through so many different like areas. Try to conversion paladin. I don't think I've played a conversion paladin through the game. But Rune from Forge? I mean, hey, if we get Malarist, we're one away from CTA, baby. What do you so, mean? that'd be nice. Not extra fast, not extra fast. Alright. He's kind of extra fast in a reverse way where he makes me extra slow, so... Yo Llama after ball kill, can you put on D-Web? I'd be interested to see how much stronger this gets. Uh, no, I'm not going to be high enough level. But I do have a, a level 90 something poison necro with gear on, so. But you probably you already know how strong he is, though. Oh wait, it's only 66 required? 
Really? It's actually really surprising. Not expected. Yeah, it'll basically double my my damage <laughs> effectively. It's it's quite quite nice. And Umrun, so close. Rip the dream. But, we can of course do the same thing with an Umrun. You can take a look and see... Umrun, Diablo 2. What are the things we can make? Bone would require two ums. It'd be pretty much a waste of an um. Beast requires a burr. Not for us. COH needs a burr. Chaos. So we actually can make chaos now. We have om and um. We just need the foul rune. Again, this is purely for a uh, Qatar, for an assassin, but Whirlwind. Crescent Moon is fantastic, but not really for us. Um, it could go into Polearm, so this could be something that we could make for like a Mercenary. And then he'd have a chance for Static Field on Striking, some ITD, nice IES, minus Light Res. You know, that wouldn't be a horrible idea. Doom, Om, Um, we just need Low and Cham. Uh, Duress is fantastic, also not bad for a mercenary, gives us that crushing blow chance. Some added cold damage, open wounds, and good resistances. So this isn't a bad armor. Honestly, just for the resistances, it's not bad either, just to use if we wanted. Uh, Gloom, we would need a pull rune as well. It has 45 all res though, which is really nice. So that could be, you know, something there. Kingslayer needs Gull uh, and Mal. Plague, obviously, no. Um, though, it, you know, Plague could go in a Dagger. You get the Cleansing Aura, Chance for Poison Nova, Lower Resist when struck. It's kind of fun, minus to enemy Poison Resist. So Plague would be fun, but obviously Cham Rune required. And then Stone uh, is, you know, it's okay, whatever, defense. Is. So, you know... Oh, Amrune definitely opens up some more options for us, but nothing that we're effectively really going to be using right now, I would say. So, still just a, a nice, nice to have rune. Still just nice to have rune. And let's go ahead and toss these out and put these guys away. And we'll go River of Flame. Let's go to the Sanctuary here. So none of the bosses should spawn Poison Immune. If one does, it would be uh, Infector. So we want to go to the right first. What up, Alex? Yeah, Umrun is also just nice for resistances. So if we found like Viper Magi or something, we could always just put it into the Viper Magi. Or if we had a helm, you know, we could put it into the helm. Obviously, we have lore, but if we had, like, Shaco or something, we could um the Shaco for more res. So, it is just nice there. What did I rate Diablo for? I mean, I gave it a 6. Ooh, Fire Shine. Save that for Diablo. I gave it a 6.11 out of 10. I feel that was a more than generous Impossible. look at the game. But, you know, I got okay fun out of it. And then I was done having the fun. I can totally see somebody rating it higher or lower though, depending on their own personal experience, what's more fun to them, what they like. Speak of Shaco, almost just needed to roll the magic find roll on it. Got the base though. So 
Oh. We'll go ahead and pop this here. It's not a great setup there, because he's pretty deep. But the nice thing is we do decent damage. Even against Venom Lords who have good poison res, so we should be able to clear out a lot of this stuff. And then we can go in and drag further. Let's see if we can get the boss man. There we go. Impossible. We at least got him moving a little bit. That's good. Oh, ouch. Okay, he's getting closer. Faster than the Fanatic. Sell it? Yeah. Perfect. This is where we can try and use Corpse Explosion to our advantage and get a little bit more damage done to him from that. There's a lot of fire damage he is dealing as well. So we do have to be a little careful. Because he is multi-shot. Otherwise, not too bad. I need mana. Perfect. Okay, so one boss down. Two to go. Get this boss man and his minions rolling. And if we can get them dying near where he is, then again we can use some corpse explosion. as a way to just get him to die a little bit faster. Time for our last boss. Let's see if we can cheese him a little bit. I can't. Oh boy, nope. Huh. <laughs> Terrible spawn. Too much cheese. I need the boss to uh, come to me. Alright, let's see. Where is our boss? Don't run out of TPs. I'm actually going to drag these guys over here. And then let's get the boss to actually chase us. Because he's kind of sticking up. Hi. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Alright, so we're gonna go for the double cheese on Diablo. I wonder if that fire shine's close enough to hit him. Alright. So you can actually just bring a bunch of corpses over to where he is. 
And then he can just blow up a bunch of corpses on him. And the corpses that were remained near him will be saved. So that's the first way that you can do uh, a little bit extra on Diablo. The second way is you just hit the fire shrine. Ooh. And there you go. Diablo is down to just uh, the D. So if you ever have a sh fire shrine in here, save that puppy for Diablo, unless your character murders Diablo really fast. So if we did it in the reverse way, we could just pop, pop, and then just kill him. There you go. <laughs> Corpse explosion plus uh, fire shine. Easy. So dragging a bunch of corpses around Diablo is a great way to get extra damage. Now, one thing that you have to remember when you do this, if you drag uh, all these corpses around Diablo, is that they will despawn if you go away from them. Right? So the way that you can actually keep them there is by just leaving a portal up. Your portal will act as a as a despawn preventer. So the corpses near your portal will actually stay there. So you can just leave a portal right in the middle, drag a bunch of things around there, then you can go off, kill the side bosses, do whatever you want, and when you come back, baby, you're good to go. All right, so now I'm gonna put my point into corpse explosion. We'll also put these points into Corpse Explosion, and we'll continue forward. Because at this point, now we're not really getting much from putting into Lower Resist. We got up to 51%. Pretty good. We could go a little bit more, but we're good enough. Did I miss a tiara? Oops. It takes more than a we are level 68, so of course, plenty leveled here. If you want to level more, you always can. Flare Jungle is definitely not a bad place to keep going and getting those levels. Chaos Sanctuary, not a horrible place to go and get some of those levels. You can go after different mobs in different areas. I mean, the lower Karas, we were killing stuff on Players 8. Tons of experience to be had there, right? Like. You can you can go around and on this character you can definitely level up really well and then if you do get you know that bramble if you do get that uh whatever right a d web whatever it is you're gonna just really skyrocket in your damage and it'll be even faster and easier to level up so this is a great character where i think you know we could very easily do like a Guy didn't play through to level 90. Maybe we don't want to go to 90, but like 85, you know? <laughs> you just kind of keep taking it and leveling it up. It's like one of the easiest characters, I would say, for leveling really well. Yeah, we need a Sir Rune for Bramble. We have chaos if we want. I guess we need a foul rune. Impossible. We need a. Do you Mal play online or single player? What do you play more of? Nikki demo. Demo. Uh, I I play more single player. Malice for CTA. I used to play pretty much exclusively. For the first like 10 years that I played, I was like exclusively uh, multiplayer. And again, we're at our favorite spot as well for farming levels. That's right, it's Mr. Eldritch. Come here and farm as much or as little as you would like. Super nice and easy. Great for killing. 
And you can even go up to like players eight. Players eight may be a little bit aggressive. Percy, thank you very much. But we'll try, we'll see what players eight looks like. Doable. I don't want to be like fighting with the archers and stuff, but. Domo, Domo, thank you. Gifted a tier one sub to go sub as well. And just fantastic experience again. And very easy experience to have because you're not having to go do crazy things for it, right? Like, you're just like hanging out right there. Lower resist does work with poison. Conviction does not. Just a fun little tip. on P8. Nope, we switched over to P1 there. I don't need to do P8 poison archers. <laughs> yeah, too many poison archers here. Does low resistant conviction stack? They do. For light and fire and yeah, yeah. What they work for. They will stack, actually. Got some random things. Yeah, your biggest enemy on Poison Necro is doors and catapults. Catapults, and maybe even doors. Some of the tower things as well have so much resistance that even a Sunder Charm will not break it. Oops. I'm going to go back to town and just heal that up. Okay, so we can always find this waypoint and save Anya if we want for 10 more all res. We can also just die to extra fast death lords if we want as well. Extra fast death lords don't play. This is a terrible spawn of monsters actually. This is actually super bad. Uh, let's do this. We're gonna set this TP and then try and drag but die further away. Okay. And now we might be able to go and get our body. Some zeal charges. Hardest norm monster is Death Lords. They're they're definitely up there. Alright, so now we gotta go this way and then go this way. Get the body! No! Alright, we'll reset. <laughs> Sometimes, unfortunately, you run into trouble like that. Alright, we only had Frigid, that's okay. Run it again. Better uh, mob spawns out here, so now we can maybe level up a little. Rare amulet. Also, Hell Eldritch is a great place to get items. And if you kill them on players one, you'll be able to get items really easily. Um, because he's always going to drop two items no matter what. So he can be a really nice, just kind of quick farm if you're just looking for something fast. Wow. Hello. Yeah, I'll 
I'll take 16 RS. Small loss. I can't. We do lose the FCR. It does drop us down the one frame. Again, it's not a huge deal because we're not really going crazy with the frames that we're on right now. Um, so. I can't. That's Conviction Aura. Like, I'm not, like, you know, constantly just sitting there casting like this. But it may... Oh, no, it actually won't. We're actually good. Let's see what we got. I don't like it's getting cold hit right now. Impossible. Let's go. So, hopefully not Death Lords. Better. Archer's still a little nasty, but... Impossible. Impossible. Make our way out. Oh god, what? I clicked on it. Oh man. Get caught typing. And that is a tip. All right, I don't think we're getting there. Uh, maybe. I just need to not get chilled and I'll, I'll be okay. Rip. Uh, Alright, fine. Salutation. Fine, fine, fine. We'll go one more time through. I really thought we clicked and we're fine. YouTube, just you know, fast forward or something. Don't, don't leave a comment about that. Leave a comment saying a, a nice thing instead or something. Oh boy. Nice death. <laughs> Impossible. Look away for I one can't. second. Sorry, Moo Girl was messaging me and I had to message back and then that was the death. 
Impossible. You have no idea what you're doing here? Maybe just like waiting for long RPG? I think that's what a lot of people are doing here. I gotta save the barbs. Eh. They're big boys. I can't. If our Lama RPG has better itemization D4, Blizzard will be salty. I can already promise you Lama RPG has better itemization than D4. There we go, we got another waypoint. That is, like, the least of my concerns. Now, there's still stuff with itemization I want to improve and do. Oh no, Death Lords! But... Yeah, it is... It is better than D4's itemization. See, look! I clicked it again! That's weird. Needs you to be all up on it, I guess. Leave another safety TP. Does it have more bag space? Yes, it also has more bag space. And I know it's a crazy feat, but I was able to accomplish it. I do not store all player data in a single blob that then gets delivered to everybody when they connect to the server. I figured out a way how to do it, I'm just gonna say. It's pretty crazy, but you will not gather every single person's player data when they when you connect. I know. Some people call me a master. It also has free trade. It's locked. Okay, so I'm going to want to go ahead and grab this waypoint here just for safety purposes. Since I don't really have a great waypoint. I have a glacial trail. It's a little bit away. So we will go ahead and snag this puppy over here. It's a little far away, but... No battle pass? There is not a battle pass, I'm sorry. Good afternoon. Sorry to break it to you. Impossible. I know, disappointing. I can't. Add a free battle pass? I mean, it's just not going to be called a battle pass. That there will be free things that you kind of go and, like, work towards and stuff, but... We just won't have oh battle passes or llama passes or any of that, you know? It's just gonna be, I don't know, like, a thing. You, you just you play it and you do it. Um, if you ever want to store some potions, you can always store in your cube as a nice, simple place. Yeah, just playing the game, you will find and earn things, you know? It's just plain and simple. But you can always drop potions on the ground if you feel like you're going to need more. Right? If, if you feel like you're good, and this character honestly should be pretty good on potions, you won't really need to do a lot of that. You can just come here. Now, if you ever get a bad roll, by that I mean it's just like, oh man, it's too brutal. They're just like chasing me down too fast. 
Vitalik is extra fast. They have fanaticism. Plus they have might aura, you know, whatever stuff. Then you can just chill out and uh, drop a TP and reset. Easy way to do it. But this right here doesn't seem too bad. Korlik and Talik are slow, which I like. And Maddox not hitting me like a truck, so... I don't mind getting hit there as much. Sometimes Maddox will just throw and like one-shot you, you know. Also, nobody is cursed. Talik is extra uh, strong, so I, if I get hit by him, I am probably dead. So I do want to be careful getting hit by him. Otherwise, we should be okay. So. Should be a pretty simple fight, though, for us. With my main goal being kill Talik before I accidentally get caught on a wall or one of Korlik's leaps or whatever and I die. That is the main goal. <laughs> so whenever Korlik leaps, if he leaps in front of you, it will immediately act as if he is already there. So... Sometimes that's why you'll feel like you're getting stuck. You're like, wait, like, how did I die? I was trying to move, but then I just wasn't able to move anymore. It's because the game does just weird positioning piece with that. So. There you go. Like I said, you don't really need to have those on the ground because this build is pretty efficient. can if you want. Mercenary would have just got popped right there again. No reason to grab it. Alright, we'll go one more corpse explosion, more vitality, level 69. Feeling great. Not feeling great about this boss. Gonna try and teleport away from that as fast as I can. Little bit nasty. And perfect. We have 10 TPs left. I wanna find the waypoint. We do have souls, which is not ideal. Yeah, not ideal. This may just be a full reset. We'll see if we can get lucky. We will not get lucky over here, so we will not get lucky here. We will just reset, which again, is sometimes just the thing to do if you're in a, one of those situations. Do you really want to try and teleport through there with 50 souls? You do not, the answer, the answer is no. So instead, we can just come over here and just go back and try and uh, get there again. Pike women can be pretty nasty, so this is not my favorite spawn. That was also our level 1 spawn, which was not fun. So, not great mobs right there. But it's okay, we know where to go here. And like I said, getting the waypoint here is very important because it's going to save us essentially from really bad situations a lot of times. Or if we get Thank in the throne room, then, oh no, there's Forever souls burning. there. You know. By providing knowledgeable and fun content. Of course, thank you, Degross. 
So we'll leave that. And that's a bad map we just got. Impossible. At least the mobs are like super easy here. So we actually got a really nice spawn there, but I can't. Long way. Have I talked to Brevik while developing Lama RPG? I have not. Salutations. Okay, level three, just looking for the throne. Now these ghosts are gonna be immune to poison, so really nothing to kill here. Could kill the temptresses. They'd probably die pretty fast. But they also do good damage. So really we just wanna leave. But no, Lum RPG is just built from my noggin. Of all the stuff I've seen with games, I've liked in games, what I think would make a fun game. And that's pretty much it. All right, we have snakes, which is unfortunate because snakes are immune to poison and we cannot break that either. So we can try and just drag these snakes away. Impossible. To get them out of the throne room. Impossible. However, this is dangerous. If you want, you could also just reset so that you don't have snakes. Dolls as well are annoying. But I definitely want to drag them far enough away because I probably, or I will be dragging wave 4 out. So because of that, I want to give myself some room. Hopefully there's not more snakes. There are more snakes. This is not ideal. <laughs> This may be a new game. We can. I mean, we have all the snakes still here on us. I can't. So, just need to make sure they continue to move. I can't. And drag them down. All right. So, it's not great, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, my low resistance go off. As always, you can corpse explode to get rid of bodies. Just a nice, simple, helpful tip. And you can also use Corpse Explosion on Wave 2. So that the bodies there will blow up. Though so will they be immune to poison and unable to be... Hmm, we might want to drag them as well. Now they're immune to cold. Lumroon! Hey, there's our smoke. As we see that puppy. Go ahead and take the death. And we just want to go and pop these bodies here. Oh, that's annoying. He's got an annoying, uh... How may I be of help? Whatever. Make sure you don't run out of teepees. Perfect. Okay. And he is immune to poison, which we'll discuss in a second.
So what we can do, pop all of the stuff around him. That was a fake death. And that's a way to kill him. We did pop ourselves as well. Oh, I also need to get TP scrolls. Let's do that. Five all res superior vortex. Wow. If only it was at Another uh, group where it will be a little annoying because they will resurrect each other or like heal each other a little bit. But you can kind of get a couple of them starting to die, then they'll start all dying. So just drag this guy over here, pop a body, and another wave down. Now, wave four is going to be a problematic wave. Also on wave two, if you need, you can drag the boss out. You can also get a mercenary for killing. Here's wave four, like we said, it is poison immune with no way to deal with it. So we are going to have to drag it outside. And so you really wanna try and just get it to give you enough room there. So Bale will start laughing. And wave five, as long as it's not extra fast, we're okay. Oof, we do not do great damage though. low damage, but it is damage. This would be another wave where I would say you can definitely drag it if you would like. However, I'm not sure we have the option to drag at this point. We may have to kill. Which is a nice experience, at least. I've only dropped one Zod. I've dropped like 14 Chams, but one Zod room. Teleport did not go off. All right, let's do this. Get a couple health pots. Continue here. No decrepify by Bill. That was very sweet of him. Impossible. I need these guys to move off my body. Now you can also do death strats if you would like. You don't feel like killing them. You can drag them all outside. If you think you have the space and capability. This is uh, this is gonna be a tough one. Wait till the crepify wears off. Impossible. All right. This is why we should have quit at the start with the snakes because. It really made getting 
out here. Oh, that just might be fully bricked now. That's actually really bad. I thought that was a naked body. I did not think that was my real body, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Here we go. It's a nice grouping you've got there. Impossible. Get in there. Death strats incoming. Have some diaper money, sir. Thank you, Sherazad. Yeah, we might just have to reset this. This is this is probably just impossible. Probably fully bricked, unfortunately. But I don't need I don't see a way I'm gonna get my body. Okay. <laughs> Uh, sure. We'll, we'll take that, I guess. Might put these away here. Unexpected. Um, let's put some rejuves in. It's still, like, not saved. Because we still have to do... What do you need? All of that to somehow save it. But... It is at least now at the point where we can drag stuff away again, which is helpful. So I really just have to like drag it even further than I normally would want to. Okay, let's get more. This is a terrible, terrible spawn of stuff. I can't. I mean, it still might be a reset. That's insane how much stuff there is. I can't. Okay. All right, if we don't get decrypt, dang it. Here we go. Nope. I can't. There's so much stuff. This is insanity. I can pick my body, but I don't even think I want to. I think I just want to try and get out of here. Get it all down here. This one might be close. Oh, there's still one monster. This guy. This is it. This is what's between me and Vale right now. Oh, there's another one too. Oh, it's Lister. Crap. That's not good. I just can't. There's too much to even get away. This is insanity. Like, this is just so bricked out. It's crazy. There's nothing I can do. That's it. We just have to reset it. It hurts, but there's nothing to be done there. That's just crazy. Good afternoon. And that's why, like I said at the beginning, it's a little risky. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll reset that. It's a little risky having an area 
like that, right? Where I have to, I, I have the snakes out there I can't kill because the problem is with those snakes out there, that just puts me in trouble, right? Well, I'm ready for the end game. Yeah, it should. Impossible. With those snakes out there, that just puts you in a tough spot. So having mobs that you can clear out and clear room will do a lot because now your throne of destruction will be something you can actually. Oh my God, snakes again! I am paladine. Let's see how many there are. Okay, not as bad. Not as bad. So we can actually kill the snakes by killing these corpses here. So this is, this is much better. And I can also work my way outside there. And before I start killing the waves, I can do a little due diligence and take care of some mobs out here. You can bring the snake up to us. Sometimes having a little patience does go a long way. So let's take this look outside. And we do have these snakes and these snakes. So let's get the snakes away, because that's really all. There was just too much stuff, all those vampires, everything else out there in the last one. There were just too many things that were getting in the way. Now it's just causing issues. But much better. Health potions. And wave one begins. Beautiful. Uh, I've done it before, Tony. Yeah. Two, again, you know the drill. If there's a corpse, we're popping the corpse. That's the best way, man. Best way to handle it. Also, it looks like there's some corpses for wave three that are sticking around, so we'll go ahead and pop those puppies as well. B skills. Wave four. We will drag out. If desired, we could uh, set up a little corpse bomb for them. But we want to drag them far enough away that again we have the ability to drag out wave five as well. So the main thing is make sure the minion or the boss is there. And 
for some reason this guy is stuck. I can't which is me. not great. All right, let's go get a mercenary. <laughs> Hello. Uh, yes. Now he's gonna move. Maybe he just needed to Impossible. go to town or something. I don't know. I can't. Hit me! Impossible. Hit me! I can't. Geshev, kill him, buddy. I can't. Mm, maybe we just drag him out. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Yeah, it's sad. Okay, and then last wave. Same idea. If you want to fight it, you can. It will take a little bit. Without fanaticism, it's actually way better. But you can always just drag this wave as well. Or, like I say, you can kill it. I mean, look, I am killing those guys pretty fast. And now we can move on to Mr. Bale. We'll get some potions there. We can resurrect our mercenary. We can give a little bit of cold resist to our mercenary as well. Thanks. Just so he can maybe survive a tiny bit. And we'll see if he can get a static charge off before he dies. He will not. Alright, we'll try one more time. Yeah, he's got no gear. That's okay. Uh, let's just sell some of these things. Can I help you? Try one more time. Yes. Salutations. Get yourself one more of these, buddy. I can't. Come on, give me a static. Give me a static on Mr. Bale. Now I'm the one who dies? I could have drank the thawing potions myself. Alright. We're trying to be fancy. Let's just kill him. My brothers will not have died in vain. Let's just kill him. Also, he did clone. If you do not wish to fight his clone, you can just go back to town or just get away from him for eight seconds. Good afternoon. Just do that. Let's get our mercenary one more time, I believe. I believe in him. Thanks. Here you go, Geshef. Thanks. Static! There you go, buddy. He got two more statics in. Come on, you got more statics in you, I know it. What are you doing? Focus on Bale. There you go, there's another static. Ayo, he got him down to half life. Good job. Alright, your job here is done. You can you can die now. So that is a good way to help yourself out if you can uh, you know take the time here. 
Act 3 Mercenary is really nice. You may also have another Mercenary that has good Crush and Blow. I also really love Act 5 Mercenaries. They're pretty tanky. So if you have a decent act two-handed Act 5 Mercenary, he can actually be really nice against Bale as well. That cold resist from those thawing potions is doing work. Go back and grab some potions. Get some TP scrolls. Sometimes the clone will just do something like that. I don't know. Should be when you're away and your portal's not near them, but who knows. So again, boss is not the best for this character, though if you are going after like an Dariel, you can definitely speed it up with all the corpse explosions. So I'd say an is probably like your poison farm for a boss. Otherwise, really just go in ter terror zones. I can't. You can run around in, you know, chaos if you want, though the Venom Lords make it not quite as good. You can go and do pits, you can go and do cows. One of my favorite cow killers in the game, actually. So, honestly, there is a lot that you can do with this character. Ooh, our cold res wore off, you can feel it. Obedience on a mercenary would be nice. Unfortunately, we did not find a foul rune or a co rune. We only found an om rune, rune and an um rune. So, unlucky on the runes. Unlucky. And stick around after this run. We will do. Uh, we'll do something really cool. Impossible. Let's go get more potions. How may I be of help? We need more potions, anyways. Legendary sake. Don't call it legendary. Ugh. Yeah, but a museum. Um. Yeah. So. I guess the museums from Animal Crossing a little bit. The idea of having a place where you can have a Holy Grail. And the game is something that I do like and I want to have in long RPG. The question right now is, should it be a place that you have to get rid of the item or not? You know, should you be able to just have it? Or do you have to actually like imprint, you know, the item into the legendary or the slot for it? And just like that, yeah, we had a little bit of trouble at the end from, honestly, Llama just 
not making good decisions. But the poison necro is done, crushed it through hell, is ready to continue going and farming and leveling up even further. Good job, everybody. You are now a uh, owner of a hell necromancer. Nice and easy. Right? So let's do a final closeout of the skills and the stats. Again, just a little base strength. Everything else into vitality. Uh, maxed out our poisons. Put a few points into low resist just to get it up a little bit more. And then the rest into corpse explosion. Gear wise, spirit, lore. Uh, just 16 all res right here. Ancient's pledge, stealth. Just some random 18 cold res gloves that we shopped. Uh, some resistances on rings with some mana, some energy, resistances on belt, and fast run walk resist boots. Again, oh, Mr. Llama there is definitely better gear that we could find that we could use. Um, charms were nothing super great. Only this 1414 was really anything. Everything else is pretty meh. So obvious next upgrades are like, hey, we shift this into a spirit shield, right? That'd be a really nice upgrade. If we can get Trang's gloves, that'd be a nice upgrade. Also, if we just work towards Trang's pieces, you know, like triple Trang's, that'd be really nice. Um, you know, more plus to skills, even like a plus three PNB amulet would be massive. Shaco would be really nice, you know, something, or, or plus three PNB skills here as well, right? Um, you know, obviously like Enigma and things get better. Then we work towards our death web and our like crazy items there. Which I don't have a death web over here. I don't know where my death web is somewhere. Your SOJs, all of, all of your other stuff. Um, yeah, so that is the poison necromancer. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed it. I love this character. This is one of my favorite characters in the game and playing it through from the scratch again just reinforced how much I love this character again because it's just so good. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe YouTube. I hope that you've had fun with your uh, Necro. Mwah. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.